is a bright, enterprising, alert young man on his way to work. Is he uh, full of brush man, a doctor, income tax examiner? Why not stop him and find out? Hey, uh, Bud, pardon our curiosity, but what is your profession? Oh, let it go. Forget it. Forget it! He, uh, looks like an intelligent fellow. Probably a Phi Beta Cap or, uh, at a piece of pie or a private eye or a Swiss bell ring. Ah, the woman in the case. Or is it a case? In any case, he's right on time for it. Now we're getting somewhere. He's a plumber. But Junior isn't stuck in the drain. Of course, he's a babysitter. And now Mother can knock off at the day and go to the races at the bargain basement. Uh-uh, Virgil. Leave the boodle on the noodle. Now to the work at hand. In the babysitter's manual, it says the professional babysitter is up to all the rules of happy homemaking. In fact, he's up to his neck in this one. But every profession has its occupational hazards, and no matter which way the water runs, the professional babysitter does not ever lose his temper. Yeah. But what's this? Junior has ambitions to be a doctor. So he's going to remove the appendix from that book. But Virgil realizes it's time to use psychology. He knows that a few trinkets are invaluable for diverting the savage mind from thoughts of mayhem, as it were. But uh, Junior doesn't submit to the brush off easily. Being a champion at his trade, our friend realizes that all good tricks aren't in the bag. No, no, Junior. Simple, isn't it? But secure as he may be in his expert knowledge of child psychology, a babysitter must have the DTs. Uh, that is, diaper technique, commonly known as the infernal, uh, eternal triangle. Now, let's change the subject. Junior's book says, a wily redskin never attacks on a broad front. Junior can take a hint as well as the next one. So, it's target for tonight and... Why, Junior, how could you? Temper. Of course, our friend is an expert in the diaper department. Notice how every deft movement counts. There's no waste motion as he transforms a piece of cloth and some safety pins into a tidy, wrinkle-free garment for the infant's comfort. But then again, everyone has his off days. Uh. Now, oh, Virgil, there's nothing to be frightened about. After all, Junior's just a small, innocent child. Aren't you, your mom, uh, Junior? But perhaps he's only going to demonstrate some Indian tribal dance he just read about. Perhaps. Junior, don't you think you're a bit young to do on a tear? There's nothing to be alarmed about. 
Junior is merely demonstrating an old-fashioned Indian foot warmer. Of course, this puts our psychopath, uh, psychological friend at a distinct psychological disadvantage. No wonder Virgil's trying hard. His career's at stake, and he doesn't want to be burned at it. Well, it looks like our Virgil is doomed to defeat. But no, not yet. For smoke signals have warned a friendly force. And they're at the post, and they're off. And it's White Boy in the lead. And follow up is second, and almost there is third. And the seventh cavalry arrives in the nick of time. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, wrong travel on. Virgil decides this is one pair of hot dogs that goes better with ice cubes than mustard. And our sweet child sleeps the sleep of the uh, sleepy. Oh, no, not that again. As a uh, white professional babysitter of experience, uh, well, our expert knows that little Grodnick's formula must be just the right temperature. And he's armed for the occasion. After all, little Grodnick can't get hot over one too cold. And he's cold to one too hot. Yes, baby's formula must be just right. Well, this will probably be news not only to you, but also the absent lady of the house. But it's an old tradition that the babysitter has full and complete icebox privileges during his tour of duty. Now, this quaint custom originated, we are told, with old King Henry Huey, uh, D8. And our expert Virgil is a slave to tradition. Seven layers of it. This is perhaps the most satisfying aspect of babysitting. A good book, a little snack, and the serene feeling of knowing that each innocent child is safely tucked in the land or not. Uh-oh, the vanishing American seems to be rematerializing, and it looks like he's loaded. Uh, for bear. Oh, what happy hours are those of our carefree childhood. What's up, that, uh, Junior? Oh, you are. No, oh, Junior, no. Well, Virgil, like I always said, there's nothing like a tossed salad. All you need now is a few croutons. But uh, if you have a complaint to make, why, just get it off your chest. Ten. Oh, for shame. Virgil, I'm surprised at you. One of the pleasantest times with the kitties is the pre-bedtime period. A jolly romp always sets everything up just right. Let's face it, but not quite that forcefully. Due to circumstances beyond our control, we're unable to show the emergency techniques the babysitter is employing at this time. But time heals all things, so they say. And there's nothing like getting to the bottom of a problem, is there? Rodnick. Nothing but empty bottles and not a cow in the house. This calls for brain work. This is the acid test. What will our expert do now? Oh, shut up! Great work, Virgil. What acumen, what foresight, what wisdom. What a jerk. 
Well, anyhow, now you can sit down, loosen your stays, and relax. But now, here comes the little darling's mother, returning from a trying afternoon over a hot scratch sheet. And, of course, she wants to know how her children behave. Virgie, you're either a great diplomat or a four-letter man. But anyway, it's time for the eagle to fly. That is, provided Susie can unhinge it from this nest of knickknacks. Patience, little man, patience. Ah, at last. But wait, isn't that too bad? Nothing left but a 20. But always the expert, our babysitter is prepared. Hey, what is he babysitting for? With that role, he's good for at least two hours at Santa Anita. Hey, uh, Virgie, you want to double it? So, all's well that ends well. An honest buck has been made, new experience has been gathered, and to Virgil, our professional babysitter, the reward is in the end. <laughs> Oh, well, anyway, nice try, Virgil. <laughs> <laughs>